Lockheed Martin has published new artwork portraying a hypothetical manned sixth-generation combat aircraft component of the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD, the multifaceted U.S. effort to field next-generation tactical air combat capabilities. The stealthy tailless aircraft is seen refueling from Lockheed's LMXD tanker idea, which the artwork was intended primarily to advertise. You can read more about NGAD's potentially game-changing architecture here, but suffice it to say, a manned tactical aircraft component is very much slated to be at its center. By displaying an NGAD concept as essentially an accessory to the new tanker aircraft, its marketing to the Air Force, Lockheed Martin looks to effectively sidestep making any obvious references to what's a highly covered program. However, there's no doubt that the tailless aircraft is meant to act at least as a stand-in for NGAD. As for Lockheed Martin's idea of a hypothetical manned NGAD aircraft, this comprises a diamond-shaped wing with straight leading and trailing edges. The wing is closely integrated with the elongated fuselage, which bears a single conspicuous chain line and tapers sharply toward the nose. It's possibly notable that the airplane bears no distinguishable tail surfaces. Tailless designs have shown up frequently in NGAD adjacent concept art as they would allow very low observability, stealth, vast interior volume for fuel, weaponry, and sensors, and a high degree of economy. The twin engines are buried in the fuselage and exhaust over the upper surfaces of the airframe. A known low observable design tactic used to block the infrared plume and radar reflective exhaust areas from sensors on the ground and from most other aspects with two-dimensional diamond-shaped nozzles. These are most obvious in a rear aspect shot of the aircraft, pictured below, in which it's also shown taking up fuel from an LNXT. There also appear to be two very shallow bulges on either side of the central part of the fuselage which appears to relate to the propulsion system. The aircraft may be represented as sporting a shiny or semi-reflective coating, which could be in line with similar experimental coatings observed on F-22s, F-35s, and F-117s as of late. The engine air intakes are not visible, suggesting they are located below the airframe, something that we've also seen on previous sixth-generation models. It's also possible that the intakes have been deleted from the artwork entirely to disguise the strategy that Lockheed has adopted here. A low observable aircraft's intake design is among its most demanding and sensitive components. The proportionally fairly lengthy cockpit canopy is noticeably low profile, implying poor visibility, especially to the rear for the crew. This attribute is not as vital as it once was with the development of dispersed aperture systems and the harvesting of exceptionally high situational awareness due to enhanced sensor fusion and networking. Also, the manned aspect of NGAD is not exactly a standard fighter. Range, payload, and low observability are certain to take priority over maneuverability. It is interesting, too, exactly how close the latest images are to previous Lockheed Martin concept art, below, portraying a presumably fictional sixth-generation manned aircraft. As well as the same fundamental configuration, details appear to extend to smaller features, including particular panel lines. One might easily claim it is actually showing the same concept. The scale of the aircraft featured in these new concept artworks is hard to discern, possibly purposely so. Based on a comparison with the refueling boom, this is not an exceptionally huge airframe. Yet, from what we know of the Air Force's NGAD, it envisages a larger manned combat aircraft design with enhanced carriage of internal fuel and weaponry. At the same time, the Air Force has also spoken of the prospect of two unique variants of the aircraft, a long-range one tailored for operations in the Indo-Pacific and a shorter range version for the European theaters. Overall, the concept is not wholly alien to those who have followed the earlier artists' impressions of notional manned NGAD aircraft from various manufacturers, as well as from the Air Force itself. It's also crucial to note here that there are two discrete NGAD projects run by the Air Force and the Navy, 
although there is also known to be a crossover between these two programs. As well as concept art, for which the actual relationship to the real-world NGAD is open to a significant degree of conjecture, a previously unseen low-observable aircraft test shape was spotted at Lockheed Martin's secretive Helendel Radar Cross-Section RCS, measurement facility in October last year. You may read our analysis of that event here. There is no evidence that the Helendale test shape is directly tied to NGAD, although it's significant that it does share some general parallels with many next-generation fighter designs, including some that are thought to belong to NGAD concepts. It also appears to adopt the same kind of diamond-like, tailless design, with an elongated fuselage and single chain line that we can see on Lockheed's recent concept drawings. Earlier this year, the war zone observed another tailless, delta-wing aircraft in satellite imagery of Area 51, the Air Force's clandestine flight test center at Groom Lake. This aircraft, around the size of a Su-27 flanker, has a distinctive wings platform, more reminiscent of Concorde, with its gracefully curled ogival leading edge. Overall, the wings have a flowing, more organic appearance than the Diamond Delta seen in the latest Lockheed image, although it also appears tailless. Again, however, we don't know what, if any, relationship the Area 51 aircraft has to NGAD, but it would be a top possibility considering its design, and that we know an NGAD demonstration has been flying in secret for a number of years now. While the NGAD program has so far been performed behind a cloud of secrecy, it's not unheard of for concept art to reflect certain parts of even highly classified programs, something that Lockheed Martin Skunk Works has a long history of, notably in reference to stealth aircraft advancements. Of course, Lockheed Martin is just one of the businesses involved in NGAD, which as a family of systems includes new weapons, sensors, networking, and battle management capabilities too. In June, Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall acknowledged that we still have competition within the project, but would not explain, according to Air Force magazine. Drones too are a vital part of NGAD, especially for Lockheed. In fact, it's impossible to overestimate their importance, although they are following a somewhat different path to the manned fighter component as you can read about here. At this moment, it's unknown if a definitive design for the future NGAD manned airplane has been chosen, if different businesses are working on competing planes, or whether multiple corporations are competing to construct a single design. Regardless, a lot of advanced fighter ideas we've seen from other companies in the past have looked broadly like the latest Lockheed proposal too. Separate but connected to NGAD, we know also that Lockheed Martin has been awarded a substantial prospective Air Force contract under the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Program, or NGAP, which is also meant to feed into the NGAD family of systems. This effort incorporates two other established airframers, Boeing and Northrop Grumman, while General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney will modify propulsion system designs. Secretary of the Air Force Kendall had previously announced that the manned component of the NGAD program has reached an engineering, manufacturing, and development EMD, phase with the intention of reaching operational capability before 2030. That proclamation now appears to have been altered, leaving the status of the EMD stage of the program relatively uncertain. Regardless, the program is clearly moving forward and fast as the Air Force, under significant pressure from international competition, is wagering huge on its success. It will surely be intriguing to see how concepts for NGAD from Lockheed and from other manufacturers continue to evolve as we come closer to the reveal of what's unquestionably one of the most widely anticipated military aircraft of the century so far.